Cascade Paper's St. Jerome Fine Paper Division produces some 140,000 tons of paper on two machines. Around 400 employees keep the mill in continuous operation. But the mill, founded in 1882, had fallen into dire economic straits. The 1960s and 70s era machines and control systems suffered numerous breaks and unplanned shutdowns, creating high maintenance costs, reduced output, and operating losses. We'd been in financial difficulty for, I'd say, two to three years. To keep the St. Jerome mill alive, Cascades had to devise a complete cultural and technological restructuring. At the start, the automation project of pulp preparation at Cascades Rollins St. Jerome was a revival project to make the St. Jerome plant profitable and with the goal of reducing costs. The objective was, first, to automate the sector, secondly, to optimize the equipment as well. So we started from a pneumatic technology of the 60s and 70s to end up with a technology from the 2000 plus generation. I think the challenge was huge, huge because five operating boilers were still being controlled by an obsolete system an old Foxboro that had been installed in 1978. To meet this daunting automation and financial challenge, Cascades looked to the Delta V digital automation system and field bus technology, integral parts of the plant web architecture from Emerson Process Management. Well, what we wanted was to have a system that was decentralized as much as possible so we could shut down a paper machine to do repairs on the machine without affecting the other machine. We wanted a complete system that could give us information on all the machines from only one screen. That was the original goal for the installation of this system. We did a market study in terms of the DCS control systems available to perform the desired work in pulp and paper, so machine control, pulp preparation control. The advantage stood out at Emerson and at the Delta V control system. Because the thing is, we don't just have one plant. We have four or five plants that are eventually in a transition phase or in need of an automation system change. To complement the digital automation and bus technology, Cascade selected Emerson Smart Field devices. Why use Emerson equipment in a project like this one? The reason is very simple. We never want to stop the paper machines. We want the machines to perform at their maximum, to be competitive. For a pulp and paper plant, durability and reliability is very important. The selection of foundation field bus stems from two important criteria. The first point is essentially savings in money and time and in wiring. The second important point is to use the latest technology. It gave us the opportunity to use the smallest amount of wiring possible to connect the maximum number of instruments. The advantages of using field bus, it's programmed with a computer. It's much more pleasant than going into the field with a calibrator. Easy to replace the equipment, easy to calibrate, easy to read, to diagnose, everything is there. Cascade's Engineering and Projects Division, working with its local Emerson sales office, learned to configure the new system and trained its operators to use the new technologies. The advantage of commissioning with Delta V, I believe, is that you can do it at any time, regardless of the equipment that's running or not. We can do a lot of things while the machine is running, which I find is a good advantage. We have to diminish our planned shutdowns, and so we perform the implementations in small phases. And with the Delta V system, it's transparent. Therefore, we reduce machine downtime, which facilitates our integration, and also which is appreciated by our customers.
For us, the way we learned to work with Foundation Field Bus is we got training from the people at Laurentide Controls, our local representatives from Emerson. Today I'd say that following the implementation of the Delta V system, we know we have to work on our equipment less often. We don't have to call for repairs, almost never, compared to previously. The digital automation system's graphic interface allowed Cascades to save on operator training. As a programmer, the challenges that we encountered for machines 7 and 8 was to bring the computers to operators that had never known anything other than good old quadrants, paper charts, and pneumatic controllers. But once they saw the simplicity of the operator interface and that it's just a matter of point and click, it's going very well. The major thing that the operators appreciate is really the ability to see the control system, to see what the process is compared to before, where there was a control loop and they'd see nothing else. The operational benefits to Cascades were immediately apparent. Well, one of the main differences between the new system and the old systems that are pneumatic or even the old DCSs is the possibility to historicize the information. That's everything. That, I think, is the big difference. So we can challenge the operators and technicians. Look, that's what happened. We see the trend. I believe we can have confidence in Delta V. It's a reliable system. And Delta V brings us more precise solution paths compared to other systems. So certainly we've become more comfortable with the equipment. We made a good choice in terms of the open portion of the system, the AMS part that is linked to the transmitters and all, the troubleshooting part. I'd say it's very, very good as a system. It's easier to troubleshoot with a Delta V system than a PLC or other DCS. I would recommend PlantWeb because it's easy. Easy to connect different communication buses, different technologies, and also different ways of thinking. With the success of the digital transitions at the St. Jerome and nearby Kingsley Falls Mills, Cascades is already planning future implementations. In the future, we will probably replace certain PLCs and install other controls and other equipment for it to continue evolving. Regarding the control philosophy, what's left to do is stock blending, which was completed. There's still sections of the machines, paper machine number 3, 6, 7, and 8, including the wet and dry ends. Two more phases are to be completed on each machine. A key part of Cascade's future plans is the service it can depend on from its local Emerson business partner. When we've had questions, we've always gotten answers, and we got them quickly. I've never really had a delivery problem after a commitment had been made by Emerson. The Delta V system has met 100% of the objectives sought by the company. To return to the system we had previously would be a natural disaster. The difference is like night and day. We can't compare it.